as the City LA County Compton. Sheriff's helicopter. Live, reckless baby. driver, as you tap can in, see from in. our shot, there is nobody behind him. What was going on lately? It's like they they having signal issues. Here we go. Basically, put this into tracking mode. As you can see, the driving has been extremely dangerous into an alleyway. Look at oh, that! Full shit. speed, gangster. Full speed down an alleyway it's behind that shit. shopping center. Again, in a residential Ooh, he's neighborhood, he's he's and he comes to a full stop no. here. A full stop, and now making a turn, making a eastbound turn. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Burton Avenue. I feel like I can't even look away from this thing. Give me a thumbnail. Give me a thumbnail. This is a dangerous individual behind the wheel, traveling at extreme speeds, uh, especially when he was under the gun there by the LA County Sheriff's Department. But the driving has not gotten that much safer, and if he continues, they will pick it up again. Now another red light blowing right through it, right past oh, yeah. a patrol car. Can't even see it. Right past a black and white. Red light, oh. continuing to test these law enforcement officers. As helicopter, a close eye on this suspect who is lots of lives in danger. That's the wrong way, go the wrong way Jesus. on Bullis Ooh. Road, right this through could be a bad. green light here. This could be bad. That's Pine Street, but occasionally he's got some heavier traffic and just goes right past cases, even going the wrong way. Oh boy. Man, that's pretty bad, dude. Time behind the wheel. Lord Almighty, give me something. Give me something, baby. Okay. Appear to be random. What's up, everybody? I guess I got a bad signal. I wish we could see this. Damn. Let's see if there's any other feed. I think ABC is the only one there right now. Damn. You see their YouTube page is the same. Come on. Nothing on the YouTube page. Let me try their website again. And finally, what's up, man? How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Ah, man, they just went black. Oh, bruh. I feel like the other day, too, they were having some sort of signal thing. Yeah, there's a ride in Philly. Um, well, I, we'll talk about it in a second. Could be an underground, uh, could be an underground spot. Oh, or, sorry. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll find the car. Uh, if not, I mean, he just pulled straight in. Like, yeah. maybe there's a driveway between those two buildings. or an... Don't see anybody running yet. So we missed the whole thing and, and a blackout? But there is no sign of law enforcement in this area, so it's a uh, good possibility. Bindi, yeah, hey. Underground parking. Look at that. There, uh, that underground that's him. Underground parking. That's him. Is that him? Keep an eye on that. Yeah, person. yeah. Keep an eye on that motherfucker. Where you go? I know what I realized. Like, I think I'm maybe I'm doing too much cursing. What do you guys think? This morning I was cursing. A little bit sketchy, but it could be a bystander. I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. Bystander or suspect? We do a poll. Very dark, hmm. hard to tell. Bystander. That might just be a bystander who had her car parked outside. Or suspect. Uh, just to the left there, you can see there is a driveway that leads underground. And at this point, uh, without the efforts of law enforcement, this pursuit it's a wrap. Uh, appears to be over Amazing. without any effort to really try and... Uh, take this person in although there is a black and white look at that right there's there. a cop so car they ain't doing answer, shit what's wrong with these we might expect to see that deputy as i say a, i should curse less <laughs> turn here, but no. it's just right he is driving by la no we need you to curse more mel has flown away at this point and yeah uh, they just gave up huh? pretty much do they don't even try anymore our coverage from up here in air 7 hd a reckless driver uh at least off the road temporarily but uh, putting lots of lives in danger on a dangerous uh, joyride through Compton. Here's the car. We'll continue to listen to the scanners and see if uh, if this person comes back out. But for right now, that'll do it for our coverage. Reporting live from Air 7 HD, I'm Chris Christie, ABC7 Eyewitness News. That guy literally drove by a cop car. Yep. Speeding his shit, even in the wrong way. So now he's blocking the way, I guess.
I guess this is like the entrance to uh, maybe like a little parking garage or something. Or the clock is ticking oh, tonight on. toward a government shutdown. Yeah, are they on the YouTube page? Hey, bro. There's a ride in Philly too. Uh, I I believe it was like a, a cop. I I maybe killed somebody in a traffic stop. And so now they're rioting and uh, well, I guess looting a bunch of stores and stuff. Now we can take a look at that. Um, let me just double check, make sure there's no other police feeds. Police chase. Let me take a look. I'm going to leave my AC stop working too. A guy told me he came by tonight and said that the compressor, the one that's outside is bad or something. And it's raining. So he said he'll come back in the morning. He looked, look, he looked kind of annoyed. Um, all right. So, the, yeah, there's a, a, a riot going on. Let me see here. We can pull up some. Looters have brazenly. Uh, I've been brazenly filming themselves. In parking lots discussing their next move, so they're plotting and planning. Pay attention. Let's see. They're plotting and planning. Recording themselves doing these things. Notably, license plates have been removed from their vehicles. That's a. Uh, so it's like an operation or something. They all come together or, or they plan and like, I guess they're. They seem to be operating without any concern for consequences. Oh, that's kind of the day and age that we're in. But uh, well, let's see. Let's see. What plaza are we going to? Look at them. They is right master. Six and Lehigh? The plaza. It's, it's nice. Six and Lehigh, come on! Everybody pay attention, everybody pay attention. Yeah. Look, the cops right Six here. Six and Lehigh, come on! What plaza are we going to? So, I don't know, I guess this is supposed to be oh, uh, to get back, I guess. Let's see, Philly riot. So, they're, I guess they're planning on stealing. Let's see what else we got. So, what happened was a judge dismissed murder and other charges against a Philadelphia police officer who shot and killed a driver through a rolled up window. Okay. A confrontation police initially described as the officer shooting the driver after he lunged at him with a knife outside the car. Municipal judge Wendy Pugh agreed that the defense attorney with the defense attorneys who argued the officer could have feared for his life because he thought the driver, 27 year old Eddie Izari had a gun. Police body camera footage shown at the preliminary hearing fired officer Mark Dial. Oh, that's what somebody texted me about earlier. I just, just said Mark Dial. I didn't even know what that meant. Okay. I don't think it's over. Fox and CBS helicopter. I don't. Okay. I don't think the old. I don't think the old Fox slash CBS helicopter microwave works. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's over. So the ruling came after a courtroom packed with police and relatives of Izari watched about 20 minutes of the harrowing, harrowing video footage. The attorneys argue that Dial acted in self defense when he fired his weapon at close range shortly after noon, August 14th. So I haven't, uh, I mean, I haven't seen the video. And so, uh, did he actually have a, a knife? He lunged out with a knife. Let's see. Dial's partner, Officer Michael Morris, testified Tuesday that the pair had been following Azari, who was driving erratically, turned the wrong way down a one way street and stopped. Morris said Azari had a knife in his hand and started to raise it as the officers approached. I screamed that he had a knife, said Morris, adding the knife had a black metal handle that could be mistaken for a gun. Mm -hmm.
All charges against former Philadelphia police officer Mark Dial, who shot and killed Eddie Irizarry during a traffic stop last month. Dial's attorney arguing he acted in self-defense. I'm Sheba Russell. The district attorney's office already appealing the ruling. A live look now at the Philadelphia Sheriff's Office, where city leaders will be holding a press conference mm. at any moment, calling for calm across the city following this controversial decision. Ex-officer Dial fatally shot 27-year-old Irizarry as he sat inside his vehicle back on August 14th. On September 9th, Dial was formally charged with murder and voluntary manslaughter, official oppression, and four other counts. Which is how days later and again today a municipal judge dismissing all charges against him we're covering all angles of this major development tonight Shayna Ferreira spoke with Irizarry's family and their attorney but we want to start with Jeff Cole who was in the courtroom for this ruling Jeff well clearly there was a motion in the courtroom when Judge Wendy Pugh dismissed all charges against Mark Dial. Relief for his family. There were hugs from them on their side of the aisle. But out on the street here, out inside of the courthouse, sheer anger from the family of Eddie Irizarry. So you're saying that it's okay to kill? Are you saying that it's okay to murder someone because you're a police officer? Because you have a badge? No, it's not. Outrage in front of Philadelphia's criminal court from the family of Eddie Rosari as the judge drops all charges against former city police officer Mark Dyer. Yeah, I'd, w I'd want to see that uh, body cam footage as well. The videos was played in the courtroom, all of the videos. What is lack of evidence to you, judge? What is it? What is it because you're standing there, you've seen a man that's my nephew get murdered, and you just drop all the officer charges? The oh, stunning decision video. came oh, after a morning court hearing in front of Judge Wendy Pugh to decide if murder in the first degree and related offenses would remain against Dial, who shot and killed Irizarry after he was seen driving the wrong way on a one-way in Kensington last month. Police body camera video was played while Dial's ex-partner, Officer Michael Morris testified a Rosari hit a knife in his right hand, raised it, and turned to Dial standing at the driver's side window with his weapon yeah. drawn. He showed that the deceased tragically raised what appeared to be a gun, that before there was a discharge in this case, the other officer shouted gun, and my client thought what he clearly believed to be a gun uh, before he fired. The defense showed a picture of the knife with its curve handled to the judge and argued it looked like a gun to Dial, claiming he fired in self-defense without malice. Once we saw the knife, once we heard the testimony, once the court heard everything in this case, there was nothing, nothing under the law that she could do but discharge this case. The prosecution told the judge Dial fired repeatedly at Irizarry within seconds of rushing Damn. out of his vehicle, gun drawn. Damn, bro, but judge dude, like running and shooting. I mean, I guess he's claiming he thought it was a gun. Judge Pugh rejected the argument, quickly dismissing all charges as a gasp was heard in court. We do not agree with the judge's decision today um, to dismiss all the charges. We will file an appeal of this decision before the end of the day today. And uh, let's take a look at a snippet of the video. Um, this is on NBC on YouTube. So uh, let me show here. I not even. I haven't heard of this story until I guess until tonight. Um. So yeah, if your discretion is advised, just you know, um, you know, if you don't want to watch this, uh, don't. For the first time, the public is getting to see former Philadelphia police officer Mark Dial's body-worn camera from the day he shot and killed Eddie Irizarry. Corey Jones is a retired police sergeant with experience as both a use of force and firearms instructor. He's not affiliated with the case, but watched it with us and gave his expert opinion about what is seen in the footage. Do you think with the release of the video, we know more now than we did yesterday? Yes, we do definitely know more now than we did yesterday. Let's start with the officer's initial command to Irizarry in the roughly five seconds it takes from when they exit their cruiser to when Dial fires into Irizarry's car. One officer is heard saying, I will expletive shoot you. Uh, shoot you. There is question as to whether one of the officers shouted that Irizarry had a weapon. Did you hear either officer? So, uh, 
why, why they why were they stopping? Why were they approaching? It was I guess they said a traffic stop. Date, what type of weapon, or that there was a weapon? I did not hear exactly what the officer said. No. Take another listen. You going looking at the camera? Watching the video. Jones says an officer can use deadly force if they reasonably believe they are in immediate fear of death or serious bodily injury to themselves or a third party. Did you at any point see either officer in immediate danger? No. There was nothing from my vantage point watching from the one officer's body-worn camera that showed a knife, a weapon, or a deadly force threat that would have put anybody that I could see on camera and immediate fear of death or serious bodily injury. The portion of the footage showing Dial and the other officer removing Irizarry from his car is too graphic to show. But this is footage of Dial driving a severely injured Irizarry in his back seat during the roughly two minute drive to Temple Hospital. Once inside the hospital, Dial is seen walking around and taking a few seconds to wash his hands. On two occasions, it appears he dissuades other officers from approaching him. Go. No, no, stop. There's also this interaction with a hospital employee. Was it any signs of life? Was he doing anything? Talking, breathing, anything or not? Barely. From what you saw, how did his demeanor seem from the time of the shooting to when he arrived at Temple Hospital? His demeanor seemed normal based on what I would expect from an officer who's just been involved in what he was just in, it, it continually being involved in. Thanks for watching. Stay updated. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to, they, they put out, they edited a part of it out, so, um, you know, I... Jones says an officer can use deadly force if they reasonably believe they are in immediate fear of death or serious bodily injury to themselves or a third party. Did you at any point see either office i will explore shoot you i'll shoot you into irizari's car one officer is heard saying i will explore shoot you Damn. so i guess that's what's going on out there uh let me show you this too we'll just take a look at this i was actually going to go to bed early tonight i'd still like to i figured maybe i can get some good sleep tonight uh, let's see the, 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 excuse me, we're starting to hit uh, stores and that these in that fashion. Just keep an eye out for that please. All right, all units inside of the range, keep your eye out for caravans and cars traveling close together. We're going on a bridge. On a bridge. All right, 24 towards red, your gray SUV on the side. Paper tag. All right. Before you got it. Hmm. As midnight nears, the Philadelphia PD scanner remains bustling with reports of thefts and burglaries, wishing strength and safety to the police officers. Canceled. It's shaping up to be a long night for them. Ooh. Live looting reporter in Philadelphia. So just filming or something? So the people are... That's what we want. Yeah, so you should be good on 1800 West West Miami. Go over there with So these people like live streaming while they're stealing shit? <laughs> what? What store? Oh my God, they got the beauty supply. Have you at the hair store? The hair store. Have you at the Oh, they're going for the hair store? So... I guess this is an art, like, this is supposed to, I don't know, whatever, bro. No, I really think yeah. we should park over here. I said, I was about to say that. I guess everybody's trying to take advantage, I guess, tonight. What the hell is this? What kind of, what kind of ad is that? Jeez. Elon Musk. Police burglary at AutoZone. Police are on the lookout for cars traveling closer together. We just saw that. Here's video footage from the ground. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody must eat. Everybody. Oh, what, what, robbing the liquor store? Oh. Uh, what is this? Fine wine and good spirits. Wow, look at that. Oof. What a That's mess. what I'm talking about. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. What's the next one? Uh oh, the cops. Wow. 
I mean, I see with they're streaming. I guess they're getting a lot of views. Let me see. Maybe we could find some live streams. I should go to bed, though. This is so crazy. Wow. Crown Royal, baby. <laughs> that's why Swulu said that's why I shop at home. <laughs> wow. Robbery underway at a liquor store. 10 to 12 males armed with crowbars attempted to break in. Wow. Damn. <laughs> this chick, man, they, she's going to get caught up. Yeah, you know the cops are going to look into her account or whatever. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Yes. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. Everybody must eat. That's what I'm talking about. That's well, Eddie. That's well, Eddie. Uh oh, look, here come more people. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, maybe she's just recording, so I'm, I don't know. I don't, she doesn't show I'm stealing, I guess. Like her actually taking stuff. Uh, influencer. Oh, this person got an OnlyFans. Okay. Actress, influencer, dancer. There we go. Get that money, I guess, huh? Every time a pro promo. Let me see. Is she live right now? Let's see. I think she got the goods. Uh, man. I'm gonna make myself some tea before I go to bed. Tea. Day. J. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Sorry, bear with me. I. A. M. A. N. She's not live. I'll follow. Wow. Record the Hold on. Oh, it's the cops. Police officers are actively apprehending looters. Yes, no, get off me. Record this, mamas. Everybody keep your keep your phone out. Keep your phone out. Everybody keep your phone out. Everybody keep your phone out. Wow, what a mess over there, huh? What a mess. Look at this. Oof. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Die. Damn! Damn! That's, oh my god! Free Philly! Free Philly! Well, the streets are hot tonight. Let me see if there's any, any live streams here. Philly riots. Live. Uh, not really. Recovery addicts on. You two know fun size. Oh, just watching helicopters. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to call it now. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to get some rest, man. All right, man. So, nah, yeah, what, what is Lulib on? I don't even know what that is. Liquor stores getting robbed. Well, I don't think anybody's getting hurt, I guess. And uh, oh, thanks, beautiful messy ball. I mean, this is, oh, yeah, cops. Oh, 
a couple people getting arrested out there. Well. Good night, y'all. Love you guys. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Uh, I think t tomorrow there's supposed to be uh, the Gilgal, Gilgal Beach murder. Rex Human. There's supposed to be. I thought there was something tomorrow going on, like a alleged Gilgal Beach serial killer Rex to appear in court on Long Island. So I don't know if that's going to be live stream. Maybe we can check that out tomorrow. It's supposed to be happening tomorrow. I was expected to appear in Suffolk County. Uh, Supreme Court for a pretrial conference. During the pretrial conference, the judge could rule on a motion filed by prosecutors to have Heberman's guns transferred back to Nassau County after they were seized by Suffolk County. More than 200 guns were discovered when investigators searched Heberman's home this summer. He could face gun charges if they're deemed illegal. Her estranged, Heberman's estranged wife is attempting to have the guns returned to her. Does she want the guns back? I don't know. So we'll, we'll see. See what pops up tomorrow. Have a good night, guys.